So Ali Coco finally made it a response to Coco Crazy's recent video, and then of course all of the videos that were made by a bunch of big content creators like Sensitive Society, which surprised me just because I thought it was just kind of kind of go under the radar. People weren't really gonna notice it. At least some of the bigger content creators who make commentary videos, I just I just wasn't expecting it. But that was cool that some more people were actually getting their eyes on the situation because it was fucking terrible just because of the way that Ollie was handling the situation. So let's read a, read a little bit of his response. Let's see what it says. Not gonna sue Coco Crazy because she's not the one who started discussing false allegations. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm not gonna apologize. Oh, fucking God damn it. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much just where I need to wrap up the video because there's not really much else to say about the entire statement that Ali Coco made uh, yesterday. I, I was busy yesterday, you know, hanging out with my family because of course I have a real life and I'm not always chronically online so I completely missed this but pretty much in the entire statement he says Coco Crazy didn't make the disgusting false allegation but she still lied she's still clout chasing she still did this that and the other and she deleted the portion in her video where she makes the allegation about Ali, but the thing that's really weird is that if you go onto her channel and if you go onto her video, it's still there. Like the, that part, that part in the video is still there. She still talks about Dr. Sonic V2 in the video that he initially made. And I'm looking right at it right now. Like I have the video pulled up on my monitor and I can see it. It's right there. I'm not, I'm not lying to you because you can go check it for yourself. Now in terms of Dr. Sonic's video, I think that video is actually taken down. I'm actually going to go ahead and check that live right now as we're recording this i'm actually genuinely very curious uh dr sonic click on the channel videos and uh yeah it's gone the only video that he has up now is the one where he responds to ali coca which i had already seen but uh, there's not really much else to say he kind of was already saying what i was already thinking about why he made the video and that's because of the fact that there there is a lot of uh, child abduction and child prostitution that happens in places like Thailand and the Philippines and it's not unreasonable to maybe think that uh, that there is a possibility that there are minors in these massage parlors who give happy endings it's not entirely implausible to uh, to assume that something like that could potentially happen but there still wasn't really any evidence that could factually support that type of accusation made against him to begin with so there, there was no point of him making that video. There was no point of him talking about that. And admittedly, there wasn't even any reason for Coco Crazy to even mention that in her video. And you know, Sensitive Society points that out. That entire portion of the video could have been completely erased off from the video. It, couldn't, it could have not been included entirely. And her video would have been just the same, right? Which most of her video basically just talks about how he made a terrible video response towards the Dogback 404 video. His initial video on Dogback 404's video was awful as well. And because of this, he lost a lot of his audience and a lot of his audience's respect. Yeah, that's like the basic gist of the video. That's what it was mainly about. But she just so happens to mention someone else's video with unproven allegations. And even in her own video, she says that the allegations are untrue, and that's why she didn't put it in the title of her fucking video. But Ali still thought that she was the one making the claims and was threatening to sue her for defamation, uh, which we have the screenshots for. We have the evidence that shows that that was something that he was going to do. That was the thing that he was going to threaten Coco Crazy into doing, uh, which was suing her for something that didn't even fucking happen. The main thing that really stuck out to me the most in this entire statement really because most of it is honestly just a huge yap fest it's the part of the video where he says uh i'm not the bad guy i don't do bad things here are all the good things that i'm doing here's a list of all the good things that i've done like all like i've gotten into zero scandals from all the videos that i've made in my entire career making videos uh i made zero mistakes along the way and i don't lie to people i don't scam people i don't message people inappropriately i don't buy followers i don't I've never committed any crimes. I'm, yeah, that's pretty much it. He doesn't take any accountability for his own mistakes. He doesn't apologize for them. He doesn't apologize to Coco Crazy. Uh, he brags about himself and says that he's a good person, which, newsflash, if you're an actual good person, you don't need to talk about the good things that you've done or how good of a person you actually are. Yeah, this guy is basically just a huge narcissistic person that looks like the combination of Humpty Dumpty, the Stave Puff Marshmallow Man, and Mr. Clean. Like, if you look at him, you can kind of see where I'm going at when I say that. So, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to say about the situation moving forward. If he does something stupid in the future, like he makes some other really insane hot take that just was really stupid, like the dog pack video, maybe I'll make a video talking about it, but I'm kind of getting the feeling that that's probably not going to happen again. I'm pro I've been proven wrong multiple times before in the past. Uh, honestly, I didn't even think he was going to respond. I thought he was just going to completely ignore the situation moving forward. Because, honestly, I think he's entirely bluffing when he says that he's going to sue someone. So, yeah, I thought that's how the situation was going to move on forward from there. He decided to go ahead and make the response. And the response, uh, as per normal, as we were expecting, or at least I was expecting, uh, was awful. And it was terrible. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I recently just got uh, memberships turned on onto my YouTube channel. So if you want to join memberships, uh, you can do so for only $1. You'll be able to see videos uh, early if you join memberships. You'll get a shout out at the very end of the video. And of course, you'll get a channel badge on the video. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say moving forward. I would really, really, really appreciate you guys if you join the memberships. I'm... This is a huge thing for me. This is something that I'm still not entirely sure of with how I'm going to move about forward. It's something that is kind of scary, you know, because I've never had memberships turned on before because I just earned it. So, yeah, this is, this is a big thing. This is a huge step forward for my YouTube channel. So if you guys can support me in any way you can by joining memberships, that would be genuinely amazing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Please consider joining the channel memberships. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Drop that